All right, guys, welcome back to the golf and grass course vlog. Today we're at Berkshire Hills Country Club for the back nine. If you guys missed the front nine, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check that out. The back nine here is pretty special to me. It's a place where you can really go low. I've seen a lot of good numbers shot in this back nine here. Um, it's got a couple short par four, some, some tight fairways to hit, but all in all, it's, it's a really fun course to play. Um, so let's get right back into it. Hole number 10, par five, reachable in two if you hit a good drive. Um, the hole kind of slopes right to left and, that, and then comes back right at the end here. So this drive, I just wanted to play my normal ball fight, which is a fade, and just kind of cut it down there to the left side of the fairway. And this one actually ran to the rough, but again, guys, I ran into the issue of me filming myself. I pressed record after I was done hitting this ball. This was one of the, the best shots in the back nine probably for me. It went right over the flag and just kind of stopped right there. Um, you can see the ball mark about three three feet um, before my ball here. Anyways, so we have this putt for eagle. Uh, it's a left to right, and I hit this on a good line. I thought that it was going to stay up much more than it did. As you can just see, it just died at the end of that hole there. So we just kind of walk up to this one. The putt was pretty straight up the hill. There's nothing much to it, and we just kind of knocked it in here for a birdie. So off to a good start. All right, on to the 11th hole we go. 390 yards, um, this is a really fun hole. Uh, there's not much trouble for me left, so I can really let this driver go. If I catch it clean, I can get right down there with a really, really short pitch shot. Um, anyway, so I hit driver here, and I, like I said, I tried to get a hold of it, and I just kind of snapped it. Don't follow the shot tracer, it's not correct. This thing went into the trees on the right and kicked out to the left. Um, this ball only went, I don't know, like 230, 240 here. Um, anyways, pitching wedge in hand here. I wanted to go left so I could kind of get over that bunker and, and touch the flag, but man, this was just a really bad shot here. Just kind of fanned on it, left myself on the left side of the green here. This green is so big. It's got a big ridge in the middle, and it, it's one of the hardest, hardest greens to read on this course, in my opinion, but this putt, I didn't know how to hit it, and man, did it turn out good. I, I couldn't be more happy with this putt. I kind of just walked away with this one. Wow, really lucky here. Okay, hole number 12 here. This is a, a pretty tight tee shot. I probably could hit hybrid here, but I, I trust my five iron way more. Again, I can just kind of cut this one from right to left here and find myself in the fairway, but um, it is a pretty daunting tee shot from back here, especially when the tee box slopes right to left here. It kind of promotes that, that right to left ball flight here. So I found myself in the, uh, in the fairway again, 179 yards, eight iron in hand. Um, you can see the flag down there. It's kind of downhill and just before the green, it's a really hard pan down there. I think it's just from the carts driving down there. Um, caught this one fat, sort of a pull for me, um, and just one hopped into the bunker up here. So a bunker shot here, all I'm trying to do is just strike the sand, get it out of this lip here, and, and just kind of let it run. And um, I got a little bit of check, but not as much as I wanted to. This green here, number number 12, uh, every putt is pretty much dead straight. You'll never play like more than one or two balls outside of the hole, so this putt was pretty easy for me. Okay, on a 13 here, we have a seven iron in hand. Uh, I don't know if this was enough club for me. There was a little bit of breeze in my face after I hit this, but um, we, we stuck with a 7 iron anyways because I didn't want to didn't want to get caught up in the yardages here and, and struck this one pretty well. I thought I hit this good. I thought I was going to fall onto the green, but I just ended up a little short here. Uh, 58 degree. This is a, a another green that slopes right to left here. You really have to start this high, kind of like that white mark in the green, but I, I just missed my mark here and it just kept rolling down into the left. But Luckily, this putt coming up here w was pretty easy. It was kind of straight up the hill. There wasn't a ton of break on it. I thought this ball was going to shoot right to left here, but um, I had good pace on it, and I just kind of shot it by. Um, again, I think that's just a, bad, just a bad putt for me, but we walked away with a bogey. Tee shot on 14 here. I have the 19 hybrid, which kind of acts like a three wood for me. I don't hit it all that much, but it's kind of nice for these next two holes. Just kind of had a draw one out there, but this ball started right. I think it was more of a pull than a draw for me because this thing went the distance. Um, I got over the first set of trees and it's very hard pan over there. So whatever you hit, it's gonna sound like concrete and it's just gonna go. And man, this ball probably rolled like 60, 70 yards for me. Bunker shot here, had to get it up and over the lip. I thought I hit a pretty good shot here. I thought we were gonna stay on the green, but um, this green is, is pretty heavily sloped from front to back, so I ended up off the green. Putt up the hill, uh, I probably should have chipped this. I only brought my putter because I thought it was on the green, but um, anyways, we, we saved a par here. 
All right, on 15 here, uh, the play in this hole is to just kind of leave this ball right and let it come back left if you can. Left is pretty much hard jail because the, it's a dog leg left. Um, and this ball, again, it kind of started out left, but it came back pretty well to the right, which is unusual for me. But this club, for some reason, I got a good hook or, 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 or a big draw, as you could say. Anyways, five iron here, 215 yards up the hill. You don't want to go long in the screen. Um, I caught a little chunky, which might have saved me here. I don't mind pitching up to the screen because I think this two-tier green is pretty tricky to putt up on. Um, anyways, a little pitch shot here, and um, we'll, just, we'll just let you watch it. I thought that I was going to go, and that would have been a really, really nice eagle to walk away with, but um, we walked right on up here and just tapped it in. This guy's tee shot in 11 almost came up on the green, which is kind of crazy. Okay, on the 16 here, I don't know what was going on with the camera, but I'm kind of happy that it wasn't working because this was a snap hook into these, these early pine trees here in the center of the fairway. Um, at this point in the round, I'm getting tired. I didn't eat anything. I didn't bring anything out to, the, out to drink. My parents met me up on this hole. They're sitting by the green right now. So um, we got a punch out shot here and I just tried to hook it around this tree and I just hooked it a little bit too much, but it stayed under the next pine tree and I got a bunch of roll out of it. So 58 yards here. I mean, sorry, 58 degrees, 70 yards. Um, this pitch shot had a really nice lie. It was in a really, really good patch of turf and, and this one went right over the flag. I was staring at it and I thought that this was going to be really close and just landed right over it. So, a um, little putt downhill here, uh, left to right breaker. I thought that I had enough speed on it, but there must have been something in there, but it, that putt just died on me. Um, we'll just tap it in and uh, we'll walk away with bogey for this one. Been really good today. All right, hole number 17 here. Pretty easy par three, just gotta get it up there. I hit a 46 degree, it was a terrible club choice. Um, I had to really step on this thing and I just chunked it. My dad in the right there, he's like, what was that? And I, you know, I couldn't agree more with you. It was a horrible tee shot. We found ourselves very short of the green. 58 degree here, just pulled this shot. Um, I'm not sure what I was thinking. Everything was going through my head right now. Um, missed the green and then we have a little short little pitch here, a little pop up, sit down, sit, sit, sit. I just kind of rolled past there, but no biggie. We have a, a pretty straight putt up the hill here. And we'll just knock that one in and move on to the next hole. Yep, parents came out to join. It was nice yeah. of them to walk up and um, kind of watch the last few holes here. I had a really good round going, um, but this hole, this hole, I mean, this drive here, guys, you saw how left that went. That went like over that bar and into the road. It was an absolute shank. Dad tossed me a new ball. Um, we're, we're teeing up another one, guys. And here, we just kind of striped this one down the center. All right, we have a six iron here, 194 yards. Long is no good. Pin is in the front. Um, so I just try to sneak this one up here, and I fanned on this one again. This was just another big high fade. No good. The parents must be putting stress on me or something like that. But a um, little pitch shot here. Again, I thought I hit a good pitch shot. I hit the flag, and it bounced all the way off the green. I know. Kind of ridiculous here, so we're, we're gonna put this one on up here. Um, I probably should have chipped this one, but this green, I don't really know. I don't really trust this green all that much, so I just decided to putt it. And we're just gonna walk up here and tap in for the end of the round. My dad's giving me crap here because he's saying that um, he's only seen me for three or two holes and I'm three over. So um, rough go here, but all in all, Berkshire Hills, fantastic course. I'll put the scorecard up right here. Round stats, we only hit eight greens in regulation, only seven fairways, and we had 30 putts. So it was a rough start. Um, I had one of my best rounds going on this course, which would have been really cool to see, especially to have my parents. That would have been fun. But um, anyways, we ended with a 77. I'll, I'll take that score all day. But um, guys, thanks for coming around on the, on the course vlog here in the back nine. And if you were there in the front nine, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, leave a comment below what course you want to see me play next in Massachusetts or New England, and we'll hit that up. So thank you, guys.